I'm Philip Duncan from Where to Watch TV on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us for our seven day Pacific wide islands update. And we've got plenty of wet weather about to form in the South Pacific, but not for everyone. There are some really good places to be if you want the dry and the warm weather, but the wet stuff, the thunderstorms, the humidity, that is definitely increasing. And we are monitoring the potential, potential, for a tropical storm to develop in the next couple of weeks. It is already showing up in the long range maps and there's no point in ignoring it. In fact, our entire brand started by talking about things that are showing up in the long range models that many of you were already seeing. Uh, so let's take a look and see what's going on. That area of low pressure that could turn into a storm, this is it here, just north of Samoa. Now it is likely to drift off towards the Solomon Islands over the next week. Nothing's happening in the next seven days except for a lot of rain in this area here where all the thunderstorms are at the moment. Also that tropical weather dropping down towards Fiji. But actually if you're in the capital of Vanuatu or New Caledonia or in Tonga or Niue, the weather's looking pretty good for the next few days ahead. The further north you go in the tropics, the wetter it will be. In the Northern Hemisphere, let's go to the North Pacific Ocean now, a few thunderstorms just west of Honolulu. There's a storm system here about to move into California and San Francisco, it's going to fall apart though, that's as dramatic as it looks right now. And off towards Japan, a bit of uh, temperature variety there, sparking a few thunderstorms for them as well. Let's take a look now at the forecast, and all times a Wednesday lunchtime here in Fiji. So if you live further to the east, your dates will change to yesterday. So you can make sense of that, I'm sure. Uh, but yes, lunchtime Wednesday, here we go. So actually not too unsettled around the South Pacific for the next week ahead. Plenty of easterly winds blowing along, curving more as a northerly around Norfolk Island. And the red line, that measures air thickness. So when you see that red line, north of it is humid. You can have 30 degrees and a dry day, 30 degrees and a humid day, the 30 with the humidity could feel more like 40. So that red line, north of it, that's the proper tropical airflow with the thunderstorms and the extra humidity. So as you can see, Alofi and Harpai are south of that uh, line. So not as humid around Niue and Tonga at the moment. So uh, those are the places to be if you wanna escape the humidity but still want some tropical weather, if you know what I mean. Over towards the Cook Islands, also a little bit unsettled with a few showers, but actually not too bad there. As you see on Thursday, even drier. Thunderstorms in Tahiti though, it's been pretty quiet in Papeiti for the past couple of months. We are definitely seeing more in the way of uh, showers there. And also around uh, Tonga, we'll be seeing around Nukualofa a few showers, a few thunderstorms popping up there for you as well. You can just see a little bit here in those showers drifting along in the easterly wind. So let's go on towards the weekend now. And that red line drops down a little bit further south. So Fiji, nice and tropical for you going into the weekend. Same story for Vanuatu. Thunderstorms up here, that is the low pressure zone that we're keeping a very close eye on. And plenty of thunderstorms coming into the Tahiti area at the end of the week as well. And it remains that way on Saturday. Humidity is a big deal. Samoa, uh, whether you're in Apia or over in Pango Pango, it is going to be humid and tropical for you uh, with that red line sort of skirting around you. It dances up and over you, but it's pretty much over the top of you as we move through the weekend. And you can see there it comes back down again. So it's unsettled, very much so, up here to the north. This is the main area of concern. And there's a lot of rain falling over the days ahead in this zone here. Notice though, it started up in this part for today and we end here Monday next week and it's much further over towards the Solomon Islands and Vanuatu. Our final map for Tuesday sees that low there, 1006. So that's not a storm, but it's in a position to keep a very close eye on. Now we've got these big belts of high pressure further to the south. That stops and limits the movement of any tropical storms southwards. Think of it as like, this is a highway of traffic, high pressure, big trucks driving from east to west and you're in a car trying to drive southwards through it, and you've got to wait for those highs, those big trucks to move along. So any storm that forms up here doesn't necessarily drop straight southwards. It's all about the high pressure block, which during an El Nino summer is usually quite strong between New Zealand 
and Fiji. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that over the days ahead. Let's take a look at the Northern Hemisphere now and around Honolulu we've got low pressure. We haven't seen much in the way of low pressure there since we've been doing these videos over the last couple of months. So next week certainly a few thunderstorms, some rain coming in there for uh, Hawaii and it's stormy to the north as it would be and stormy as well around parts of Japan as they head in towards winter. Let's have a look at the rainfall to make sense of everything I just talked about. Now Today I've decided to help you out a little bit because yes, there are two blues on the scale. That's quite standard for when you zoom out and that's a global standard. We can't change the key. But light rain is always next to the green and yellow. So if you see blue next to green and yellow, that's not much in the way of rain. So that's why we put these dry symbols everywhere. But wet from that low leaving Australia this week and heading towards some parts of New Zealand, most of New Zealand's not that wet. But when you go into the tropics, look at this. You go north of Tonga and you can see all this rain. This is two to 300 millimetres of rain in the dark blue, getting up to 300 millimetres there. Honolulu, some heavy rain nearby, may not actually fall in the city itself or the holiday spots. But look at all this rain here. It's a lot of wet weather, two, 300, 400 millimetres of rain over the next two weeks. So it's a fair bit of time still, but it's worth keeping an eye on that because Obviously, some of this wet weather slides down around Samoa, down to Tonga, and it could come further down, even closer towards New Zealand and the Cook Islands as well. That is all from me for this week. Back again next week. Thank you so much for all your support on Weather Watch TV. Please do tell your friends and family. Word of mouth is the best way for us to grow. So thanks for all your support. We'll see you tomorrow with our next New Zealand and Australia update. And also for those who are interested, Climate Watch. It is a New Zealand Australia video, but it's all about what is going on with El Nino. So if you're interested in that one, check out the Climate Watch update. It's our final one for the year that is out Wednesday tomorrow here at Weather Watch TV. That's all from me. We'll see you next time.